Hi, my name is Kristen May Carbone, and this is You, Me, and Brie Makes Three, a show about cheese, because I like it, and I get paid to eat it. It is a cheese show, by a curd nerd, for other curd nerds, or general cheese enthusiasts, which many of you are, according to my very scientific research, and my job. Why make a show about cheese? Because I can. And also because I'm a fromagère. That's French for fancy cheese enthusiast, which is what I am. I mean, I'm sure there's another technical definition, but that's just what I put on my resume. Cheese enthusiast. Now I know what you're thinking. How does one become a fromagère? Well, there are a number of options available. One, you could go to culinary school, like some people I know have gone the culinary route and then gotten into it from there. I went the more weird roundabout way. I worked in a couple of restaurants as a server that had cheese, which I was enthusiastic about because cheese is delicious. And then I fell into working as a server at a restaurant that had a cheese focus, purely domestic. So a lot of more local, smaller providers, some of which you might be familiar with and which we'll talk about on another day. I got to learn about cheese from them in a more involved process. So I made friends with the cheesemongers. I would like, what do you like? What don't you like? Why do you like it? Can I try this? Can I try that? How do you pair it? And then I also worked the cheese pairing classes that they did, wine, beer, scotch. That's a fun one. And it was great. I learned why they picked what they picked, why they paired what they paired, and I got paid to do it. So that's a great way to learn things, is free or paid. I ate a lot of cheese. And then I got offered this job on a, not a whim, but from a friend. And I said, I'll give it a shot. And I'm still doing it because it's great. It's pretty much it. I mean, I fell into being paid to eat cheese because I ate a lot of cheese. This is a thing that happens to some people, like me. So what exactly does a fromagère's job entail? Well, besides being a professional cheese eater, I am also a professional cheese plater. So my job is you come into the restaurant, you order wine or beer, that's what we have, uh, or you don't have to order any alcohol, you can just have, you know, water, that's fine. In some ways it makes my job easier. And then I pick and pair from the five overall cheese categories, and I make you a cheese plate. Depending on how much cheese you like, depending on how much cheese and the types of cheese that you're interested in, I give you the whole gamut. And like I said, we work with both international and domestic, and all our pairings are made in-house, not by me, because I am not that awesome. But we do have uh, someone, one of our chefs makes all these pairings in-house. And they're kind of more out of the box things. It's not your typical almonds and honey and, you know, figs and grapes and things that are delicious. But we like to do something a little bit different. So we have things like curds and brittles and pestos and purees and pistachio cotton candy, I don't know, that's what we have this week. So yeah, it's a little bit different. I've never been to a place that does cheese quite the way we do. Similar, but not quite. And I have anywhere from 35 to 50 cheeses on the menu at any one time. It's a lot. And I'd like to think I'm pretty awesome at my job. I don't say I think I'm perfect. One of the things that's very important, my palate is not your palate. So even though I think something tastes good together and I think something works well with the wine, you might disagree and that's okay. What I tell guests is when I put their plate down, this is your cheese plate. This is no longer my cheese plate. These are my suggestions. These are things I think taste good together. You are free to disagree. You are free to mix and match whatever pairings. If you want to try putting something together, great, let me know. If it's delicious, I'm totally stealing your idea and taking the credit for it because I'm that type of person. And enjoy. I don't want to put pressure on you to have to like the things that I like. These are things that I think go well together, but everyone is different. So don't feel pressure. It's just I wanted to show you the options of the cheese case that you may have. I live in a city, so I'm going to try to avoid shopping at stores where I can already get cheese most of the time. I will totally be taking advantage of my job and the plethora of cheeses that I could purchase from them because cheating, but also because I think it'd be nice to start off with some stuff that you might also be able to buy either wholesale or retail from wherever you are. So, or that you can even ask your local cheese shop or or even grocery store to maybe start carrying. Because there's actually a lot of good options, despite your price point. No matter where you are, you can get good cheese. And thus begins this. I am a self-proclaimed curd nerd. I like to learn about cheese. I like to share cheese. I like to share 
types of cheese and a lot of people I think get scared. The amount of people who come into my restaurant like legitimately terrified by a cheese menu is both hilarious and slightly disheartening because as Americans we're not exposed often to a lot of the wide variety of cheeses that there are and so I get a lot of people who request a lot of the same things because that's what they're comfortable with and they're afraid to try something they might like or what they might not know about or which sounds scary. But cheese is like anything, it's a matter of developing a palette and I wanted to make it a little less scary and a little bit more fun and a little bit more, I don't know, less stressful. <laughs> they just want to take the stress out of cheese. It's food. Food should make you happy. It's tasty. It's delicious. It's fun, unless you're vegan, in which case this might not be the channel for you, but that's okay. And so it all begins. I hope you've enjoyed this little intro. I hope you're excited to learn more about cheese. I'm excited to talk about it. It really is actually one of my favorite things to talk about. I'm really, really way too enthusiastic. If you have any questions, please throw them in the comments, like and subscribe to keep on our quest for queso. I'm excited to have you. And thanks so much for joining me. I will see you next Fromager Friday at five.